Hey, welcome back. Hey, uh, I just wanted to give an update on these uh, fan probs. Uh, you can see I've grown a little bit. Um, have more machines that are due tomorrow. Uh, yeah, they'll get here when they get here, I guess. Some darn customs, always in the way. Anyway, um, the uh, fan shrouds, you've all seen uh, my nice little green one here. This was the second one I ever printed up. You can see how rough and, and little wore out is. Had some misprint spots, stuff like that. Uh, I've made some actual changes to it a little bit. Um, now have the uh, utility patent on it, which is kind of a good thing. <laughs> good for me, anyway. But anyway, uh, yeah, here's those power supplies that uh, I also use. Um, the ones that I can run uh, three machines on one, if they're L3s, two D3 pluses, uh, or two S9s. But uh, you can see I really like these power supplies. We've got four of them in here right now. I've got uh, another four on their way for future machines that are on their way to me. Uh, then I've also got uh, some of these bit main ones. Um, don't really like those. They actually use more amperage than uh, <laughs> than these do to run. Anyway, um, I'm also working on something for these power supplies that I think will actually help out a lot of people too right now. But anyway, this is the new and improved fan shroud. It's, you can see it's a lot cleaner. I've still got to trim some of the stuff off and it's got my business uh, name on it too. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've been getting a pretty high demand for these. Uh, it's actually put me behind about a week or so in production, especially uh, when I got some bad filament uh, from my printers uh, that I purchased from eBay, which I won't be doing that again. Uh, I ended up having to run and uh, buy a whole bunch more uh, verbatim filament from uh, from one of the stores that's close by, but it's uh, quite a run to get down there. But anyway, uh, yeah. Anybody want some old S3s? Uh, I'm trying to get rid of those. I've also got some spoon doolies I'm trying to get rid of. Yeah, this is uh, my switch. Just nice little switch, a 10-100. You don't need anything bigger than that. This is a 24-port uh, switch. You can see I've got it halfway full already. Uh, by the end of October, it should be completely full. That's how many more machines I've got coming this month. Um, I also got some old Avalons and some S1s up there that I need to get rid of too. So anybody interested, let me know. Might even uh, be able to get rid of some of my old power supplies that I have down here too. Uh, I also have <laughs> these little bridge seeds right here. Yeah, 2.8 uh, to 3.0 uh, mega hash ones. Anybody uh, want a shot at those, let me know. But yeah, so anyway, this is the fan trap. And I was also asked about how do I print them. Um, let me go in and I'll show you one of my printers real quick. Uh, we'll take a quick look. And you can see uh, that I'm already wired in for my next few machines that are coming in. See, I did some uh, 110 outlets. I turned them into 220s. Um, but I made sure I got 20 ampers so they can handle it. And I also got an off color. You can see they're gray instead of tan or white. And then I got a black cover. And of course, I labeled them 220 just to be safe. And the colors, those are different breakers in my breaker box. So I can identify them real quick. Um, but yeah, so... There's the nice little outlets that I get uh, for these power supplies. Um, but yeah, I'll go in and uh, oh, and then I uh, put them all on a 40 amp breaker. That allows me to run about uh, eight machines, seven to eight machines on 40 amp breakers. Um, still in the process of getting my new service up and running for my uh, new shed that I just got for these, uh, where I'm going to be able to handle about 220 of these machines in here at one shot. Uh, I wasn't kidding when I said a mini mining farm. So anyway, let's go take a quick look at the printers real quick.
And there's a quick look at the one of the printers. I've uh, got four of them running now. I've got another four on the way to try and catch up with my production. Uh, I think uh, uh, if any of, you, any of you have any other suggestions, I've got a different type of printer I'm getting ready to try too, see if I can pick up the speed a little bit. So anyway, uh, go ahead and uh, leave me some comments if you want. Um, I, yeah, here's the actual power cord I use for those power supplies too. So I've got I've already got all the power cords because I get pretty uh, get them for a pretty decent price. But anyway, uh, go ahead and leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Yeah. One AC unit cools the whole room. Keeps it at about sixty to. 65 degrees in this one little room, but it's only four foot by four foot And I've actually got two stronger AC units. I'm putting into my new shed So that'll also be a nice little thing But yeah, go ahead and check me out uh, or check out the stuff on usahomeandgardens.com uh, We got a new website coming up just for mining equipment and we're also asking any miners that may have some little invention like yay if they need a place to sell their items at they uh, can go ahead and uh, write me an email and uh, let me know and uh, we'll uh, go ahead and allow them to include them on our site so we can kind of get all these little things that everybody's come up with together um, and uh, I mean it's for a small fee but it's nothing big nothing like uh, what eBay's going to nail you on anything uh, I really hate their fees. That's why I use uh, ebid.net whenever I'm selling stuff on an auction site. Anyway, go ahead and leave your comments. Tell me what you think. Uh, USAHomeandGardens.com. Uh, if I get an email, I usually respond within a couple hours at most. Uh, normally within a couple minutes if I'm awake or I'm not busy uh, handling other crises. <laughs> anyway, um, like I said, go ahead. Uh, give me a thumbs up, tell me what you think, and I told you I'd be keeping you updated as I grew. And I'm growing some uh, some more uh, as of tomorrow. Uh, I'll have uh, be starting on my third shelf here shortly. All right, thank you.